What's going on, you guys? How you guys doing? Old dog, anti period of chill. One name, three personalities. Old dog, anti period of chill. <laughs> All right, so somebody reached out to me. Um, look, you have to be very careful, men. You have to be very careful with telling women how much you make. You know, I never really tell women the, like how much I make as far as like the whole, like I always undercut it. And so I don't care what it is, right? I don't care if it's, you know, if you make, you know, $100,000 a year, if you have to tell them any type of number, just like, I don't know, say like 40,000. Yeah, I don't know, I put in about 40,000 a year. You know, if you make 60 million, you know what I'm saying? If you have 60 million, say that you have, you know, you know, I don't know, 10 million. You know, if you have, you know, 350 million, say you have 60 million, you know what I'm saying? You always want to undercut it because with your money, like you'll never truly know about her if she knows about you and your money you'll never you like you you'll never know how she feels about you you know because women let me tell you something man especially when women get older when they start getting like into like their upper 20 like 30s and things like that after they've gone out in their 20s and fucked every other guy you know what I'm saying spreading themselves around but then when they get in their 30s they're older and now they want to settle down They'll look for you guys, the guys that have money, right? They'll look for you all to settle down with. So if you like, you know, kind of like peacock, you know, right? How peacocks are, you know, male peacocks, they spread their wings and try to show off and things like that. If you try to show off with your money, then look, man, a woman, you'll have women out there and you'll have women that they'll marry a guy for his money. They'll have kids with you. You'll think they're the perfect woman and they'll be cheating on you with the guy they really want, the type of guy they really want. Like, women are smart. If a woman, if a woman, if a woman wants something, she'll act the perfect role. And you'll be like, man, this is the woman I've always wanted, the woman of my dreams. Because she knows that you have that money that she'll, she wants to settle down with you. Because you're a good provider. But she doesn't really like you deep down in her heart and soul. She's not really that sexually attracted to you to where she dreams about you. And you know what I mean? It's like you turn her on so much. But you, you're the nice guy that she'll settle down with. And so when that happens, you all... That's a, that's a position that she'll never respect you fully and you will you will never, ever, ever, ever know how much she really likes you. You'll never know. Because you never know what her incentive is. The guy that, put it this way, in your woman's past, there's been guys that they weren't good for her. She'll be like, man, he's no good for me. Her friends tell her, He's no good for you, girl, and all that type of stuff. But she keeps going back and fucking them and fucking them and fucking them and fucking them and fucking them. Because she likes him and she loves him. You, you're so good, you're almost too good for her. Because you have the money, you have the income to where you make her want to stay. The guy that was no good for her, that she kept fucking throughout her 20s and things like that. The guy, that guy that was no good for her, but she kept going back and giving him the pussy. She really liked him. You know why? Because that guy never went out and tried to spoil her with presents. Never went out and told her how much he want, how much he, money he made and this, this and that. And never spent money on her and this, this and that. But she didn't care. So you, she, he know she, he knew that she really liked him, your your girl. She really liked that other guy, but you, because you lead with your wallet, because you always like you know show everybody how much money you you make or you know try to show off about money and things like that. You will never know why a female really wants you. And throughout your entire life with her, while you guys are together, you will never know. If she deeply loves you to her core. Because one of the reasons why she's with you for your money. 
if you were to lose that money, would she still like you like that the same? If you were to lose that money, would she say, no problem, I'm going to stick by you, we'll build it back up? Or is there another guy out there to where if you would lose your money, your woman would start thinking like, man, you know what? Like, there's really no more reason to even be with you. I could be with somebody else. I'm not going to stick by you if you go broke. Like, why should I even stay with you? Like, what are the reasons why I'm going to stay in this relationship now that you are broke? Because she never had a passionate sexual attraction to you like that. Her passionate sexual attraction was always to like the bad boy or the cool guy and stuff like that. The only way she'll stay with you through your hard times, if you went broke, the only way she would probably stay with you is if she was there in the very beginning when you were broke and you guys built it up together. Then you go broke and then she'll be like, no worry about it. We'll get through it. We'll build it up again, babe. But if you are meeting a woman and you're showing off your money for the rest of your life, you can fool yourself and think, man, she really loves me for me. But for the rest of your life, you will never, ever, 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 ever truly know if she really likes you for you. You'll never know. So always undersell your money, always undercut your money, always lowball your money. And that way you'll get rid of, you'll get rid of, you'll weed them out. You'll get rid of all the gold diggers. They'll run away from you. They won't stay around. That's a good thing. Because you're saving yourself a whole bunch of time, a whole bunch of heartache. Just weed them out. Undercut yourself. And the ones who stay around, those are the ones that you seriously take a look at. And you seriously consider to be your wife. There's good, there's good women out there. You just have to weed out the bad ones. Undersell yourself, undercut yourself. Lowball yourself. Weed out the bad women. And the ones who are still standing around and still wanting to be with you. They want to be with you for the right reasons. And those are the women you pick up and you cherish and you take care of and you provide for. The ones who stick through, stick with you and stick to you through everything else. If you go through hard times and that woman doesn't stick to you or won't stick with you, won't stick with you through it, won't stick to you through it. You get rid of that woman. You never trust her again. Love you guys. You guys take care. Have a good day or good night, depending on where you are in the world. Old dog game time period to chill. Check out the video right there. Check out the video right there. You guys take care, right? Take care. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Peace.